Hey, what did you spot? So I know we're looking for Ellie's this morning, but we've got to keep in mind that Nambiti is a big fire reserve. So there is a possibility of bumping into other things. 100%, just like you've done now. So this looks like we've got a little bit of predator sketch here. It's quite large though. I would go with there, lion eh, being the oh, size. For our property here, say we not as many as hyenas as we would like, but we've got a lot of leopard, a lot of lion on the property, but just by the size of the sketch, you can definitely tell. Straight away, lion. Definitely gonna be lion. And a lot of, what would you say? I'm seeing a lot of hair, and uh, there's a lot of bone as well. What I don't wanna do is touch this with my hands. So in nature, we get a couple different types of dung. We love to talk about dung. <laughs> You'll find that out along the way, but dung is in reference to a herbivore, anything eating plant matter. You then get fecal matter from an omnivore, something like a bush pig or us. And then you get the good old scat from the carnivores. And unfortunately, when it does come to scat, you do still have a lot of bacterial content to it. Mm. So you don't want to touch with your fingers, but let's have a look. So you just got to probe through it, scratch through it. Quite a few, a little bit of bone, maybe soft stuff. So very, very soft cartilage. So you often find that off of the, especially off of the nose, um, any soft cartilage that the, especially lions and that can actually bite through, they'll bite through. It's not just hyenas that are known for eating bones, but they eat the, the much stronger bone, if you will, the horns, Harder, the, yeah. the hooves, the teeth, anything like that. But the soft stuff has a lot of calcium content. As you can see, all that white stuff is calcium, which is obviously very, very good for an animal. And then a lot of fur content. So what does the fur content tell us? Straight away, the color of this fur, I'd probably go with either Nyala, Kudu or Elans. Something along those lines, yeah. definitely. There's a lot of it as well. It wouldn't be something like a small, small dake or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, what you also find though is that you can tell what part of an animal has been eaten by looking at the dung or, or looking at the scats. So obviously something like a cat's going to try and lick off all the fur first. Correct. To then try and get to the, to the, to the meaty matter below. So you see all the... a hard tongue, hey Graham? That's it. I mean they can literally lick flesh off of bone. So they're literally going to come through here, lick all the fur off of the carcass first and then start to actually eat off of it. So you often find with that first feed that is actually going to be a lot of hair content. From there onwards, you're going to find very runny, very dark scat from the bloods, the Lent muscles, meat. correct? And then down the end of the scale, a lot of bone matter, mainly bone matter, and a lot of very white, hard, calcified mm. scat, where it's actually just the last bits of bone passing through that they actually it hasn't been broken through. down. Correct, correct. And obviously, the stomach also wouldn't break down fur. That's it. That's it. So to an extent. Quite interesting. That's. I mean, a lion obviously only has to eat sometimes once a week, depending on what they're taking. But uh, able to eat up to, call it 20, 30 kilograms in a sitting on a, on a big cat. So you can, that's why we're seeing such a large, a large pile over here. Um, hopefully along the way we can get a couple, couple other dungs, just mm. so we can show the difference between dung and scats. And obviously then um, the, the different makeup of it will show them how it is a little bit more um, woody material. All together, yeah, different different material. colorations compared to obviously then all the hair and the fur and all that. Nice Just big right bolus, maybe we can find a nice big bolus of elephants. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So this is scat and this is strictly from a, from a carnivore itself.